Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. You 
wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll be rich, a nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Hey, mister! Go away. Calm down. Come on, the girl. This will show the boys at the Geographical Society. Yes, the lighting. Uh... Hello, mister. Oh. <sighs> Hello. <sighs> Quite a day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture... If a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a cow. Sneaky one. Wildlife photographer. Drop the bag. Leave the meat, mister. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Come on, girl. 
fun to attract any wildlife, huh? Need some privacy. Yeah. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh. Well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's go, girl. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. All right, we're making our way through this. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. 
I imagine that's where they're headed. It's a good camera angle, actually. They've been doing a lot of good angles in this game. I don't know if they do better in in this game than they do in the previous game in like cinematic view compared to the uh, angles when you press circle in GTA. Oh, that was a dead animal. Look at that, the boat's out real far. The funnest part about the cinematic angle is I don't have to control much of it. I just push forwards and then every once in a while I'll click X and it, and it moves perfectly for me. I like that. Alright, he stopped. Look, they've stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. I thought Charles was a sniper for a sec, but nope, it's it's Charles. Though so thank God we didn't shoot him. Can we can we stealth kill them? Yeah, let's just get off our horse. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch. The throwable knife still. That's a good thing. Down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take taken the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. See you, Trelawney. Did I even loot this one? Yeah, I did. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
Did I almost shoot at Charles? Come on, let's get up there. Charles might need some help. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Charles Mount? Still time. Let's um, let's uh loot this place real quickly. That way, there isn't anybody that shows up afterwards. Cause once we loot this thing, we're gonna want to be out. Just chill your biddies. I just want to check up on this junk, and once we're done, we'll get it. Oh, you're in ruined. All right, that seems like enough. What, the blood's getting to your head? Arthur. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know... Nothing means more to me than this gang, the bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. All right, that was a good, uh, good mission. Let's get out of here before uh, they start popping us back. <laughs> 